Hey guys, and welcome back to another video on the Road Builder YouTube channel. I was looking through the comments the other day on the How to Trace Stuff in Blender video, and uh, I got a few. And the first one we're going to do is these border walls, simulator border walls. Some people were asking how I did this, and uh, it's very, very simple, and I think you guys will be pretty hyped with how easy it actually is. We also have some other questions. Uh, could we maybe build low poly trees in Roblox? Yes, it is possible. I'm not that good at it, but I might try to do that as a challenge video coming up very soon and uh there's quite a few other stuff you guys want pine tree tutorials that's coming up as well we could do the swamp tree tutorials anything you guys want just keep those comments rolling in uh here's my asset pack so far and everything i've created so if you have any questions on any of this stuff except for the well because there's a youtuber named grant abbott who um who i actually did that tutorial to build this well and it's a very good tutorial on how to do stuff like this so I would highly recommend that one by the way but definitely comment down below what you guys want to see next the most liked comment will be the next tutorial I do so with that being said let's hop into blender and show you guys how to build these low poly border terrain simulator borders whatever you want to call them let's go all right guys so the first thing we're going to do is hop into blender right here and see the infamous cube we're going to press tab and just get rid of that you could do this uh, exact same thing with a cube border so i mean if you wanted it to be cube instead of circular you could definitely do that uh or even with a triangle you could probably do it and even a sphere any kind of shape you want to do it with just follow the same tutorial but i do like to do cylinders all right guys so the first thing we're going to do with the cylinder is make sure you're on face select mode which is right here select this top face and then press one on your number pad that's going to take you to the front view if you don't have a number pad on your computer you can always click on these and just kind of get wherever you want to go so we're going to be right here uh i guess it doesn't matter which which like view you're on but we're just going to be on this one which is also one on the number pad now we did deselect our face so we're going to click in our mouse wheel oh no we didn't we still have it so then we can just click on this boom and we're gonna press e to extrude we're gonna press e to extrude after selecting the top so just press e and then s now that's gonna extrude it but s is gonna be scaling it out and then we're gonna press e again and we could even bring this up a little bit so if we want to bring it no we'll keep it flat for this one and then we're gonna press e again perfect e again not as much this time and then we're going to press S to scale it inwards. So this is kind of what we got going on so far. And it's looking, uh, it's looking all right. All right, guys. So now that we have this, we're going to go ahead and separate the top from the bottom. And to do this, we're going to press Z, go into wireframe mode, press one on our keyboard and highlight all of these faces. Now you could do it like this and do shift click, or you can just press C and go ahead and highlight everything like that. Make sure you get everything, even these bottom ones that are right here. Now, after you select everything, go ahead and press P and then hit selection. What this is going to do is just make these two different objects. We'll go back into solid view so you can see very clearly that they are two different objects. We're going to click on the top one, press tab to go back into edit mode, and then we're going to go to our line select mode. Now we can do a few things. Uh, if you hold alt and click on one of these lines, it'll go all the way around the circle. And then if you press control B, you can bevel it. So we're going to do that just a little bit to kind of match the top, but not as harsh. Uh, there's definitely not as much um, done to the bottom as the top. And then what we're going to do is click our line select mode and then each of these lines we're just going to kind of drag some of them down maybe some of them up and just see how it goes uh probably not up since we did it like that you'd have to move quite a bit more so we're just going to randomize these by dragging some of them that down some of them down a little bit some a lot everything like that we could maybe even uh, we'll put this one like down just a tiny tiny bit this guy down quite a bit and then this one can stay right where it is i think and then this can be like this so we're already getting that shape and since we're going for a very cartoon aesthetic we want to avoid very very harsh angles like this so we're going to click Control r to create a loop cut we'll put one right there and then we'll hit Control r on this side and put one right there as well now what we could do is grab these lines and we'll just grab each of them so we keep it even and drag them down a little bit and that's going to kind of like null that point out so now we have the very simple like shape of what we're going for another thing you could do is go ahead and hold alt and then click on the line so you're selecting the whole thing and then you could scale it in not too much you could even scale it out if you wanted to um but i don't think that looks too too good in my opinion so i'm gonna go ahead and scale it in and i think i'm gonna even bevel that just a little bit so holding the all the lines and then Control b that'll bevel it out a little bit now i'm gonna go ahead and press a to select all of that and then press s and then y to oh and then i'm gonna press s and then z to scale on the z axis move this down a little bit 
make sure you're you're not having the top go through because that would be bad there we go now we're going to go back into object mode while we have this selected and click shade smooth and then click on this and click shade smooth as well if you don't want them this smooth you can go to this little green triangle go to normals auto smooth and then you can mess around with this angle to find like exactly how smooth you want it so this is keeping a very smooth look but still having the lines i personally like them very very smooth like this up next what i would do with this bottom piece is go back into edit mode and create a loop cut in the middle and with this you can either scale in all right so you can scale in like this or you could scale out and this is just by pressing s and dragging your mouse and you can make it look really however you want for cartoony aesthetic maps i think out is a bit better um and then you could even add another loop cut to kind of even the whole thing out you could even go in on the top and out on the bottom you could do anything you want to make them look just however you want but up next guys now that we have our basic shape for our terrain done and you could do this in any way if you wanted to to rotate the top a little bit over you could do that as well but now that we have this done we're going to go ahead and texture it so go to the uv editing tab click on open and then you just want to open up some sort of a color grid here's the one that i personally use and if you would like this color grid for absolutely free just join the discord below and there's a resources channel where you can just download it absolutely for free now what we're going to do is go ahead go back over here i'm going to select everything and press tab and then I'm going to press 1 to go into this view. Now, this right here is kind of confusing. A line's up here. This is right here. And it's just hard to look at for beginners and even myself. So I go back over here and press U. And then project from view. Now, this is going to be exactly what we see over here. Just projected onto this. Now, we're going to click A to select everything. S to scale it. And you can scale this any way you want. So I'm going to just kind of do this. And then I'll press G to grab. And I think we're going to go with like this green right here. Now that we have that done, we're going to click on the materials tab. And on this base color, we're going to go ahead and click image texture. And then on this little canvas thing, we're going to select color grid. And then right here, if we press Z and go into material preview, you can see what we have. Now you might be saying, bro, what happened to the bottom? <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and select that. Press U, project from view, and then grab all of this and scale it down to where we want it. Um, we'll put it somewhere like this. There we go. And now we have it fully textured. If you don't see this thing pop up, you'll just click new material somewhere in this general area. And then all this will pop up and you will be able to get everything textured and good to go. Now, here's our material. And to export this and put it onto Roblox, you just want to export as an FBX. Boom. Click this. You will have a tab pop up. Make sure you do... Ugh, come on. <laughs> Make sure you click on selected objects. And then make sure you name it something you'll remember and then just click export now that that's exported you just go into roblox and click import right here and then you click on your object through your files uh i usually uncheck rescale if too large because sometimes it messes up the texture but we'll leave it on for this tutorial because of most of the time it doesn't but click apply all now they're going to spawn in right here we did not join them in blender if you wanted to you can do that by clicking on both of them with shift and then pressing ctrl j and if you export them like this it will be one object in studio as well but now that we have these we're just going to go to meshes in our game tab and it's these two right here we're going to click both of them and insert with location as you can see they're already fully colored just how we did it in blender hopefully you guys did enjoy and if you want to see more make sure to like comment and subscribe hopefully you have a great day later